Hi everybody and welcome back to another video and if you're here for the very first time it's lovely to meet you. I'm Jane and my husband Mike is the guy behind the camera. We're British early retirees, we've got no debt and we've paid off the mortgage and we live a thrifty, frugal and money-saving life here in Brittany in northwest France and every Sunday we share an aspect of our private life, something we've done to save money, somewhere we've been, something we've done. Let's get talking about it. We're out for our morning walk and I thought that I would take you with me this morning. So, it's no spend February. We aim for three to four no spend months a year and let me explain to you what that means. We buy food, we put fuel in the car, we pay the essential bills, we buy gas for the heating, you know, all of that stuff. But we don't buy anything else. And any kind of purchases that would be beyond that, even if they're budgeted for, like clothing or things that we might want for the house, we tend not to buy them in that month. It just gives us a month off spending and it gives us time to do other things. Let's tell you what we do when we do those other things. <laughs> enjoy a no spend month we sort of set ourselves challenges so let's go through them i've got a low spend supermarket challenge so our supermarket bill we reduce that in this month we have a pantry challenge i have no end of rice beans lentils tinned vegetables i've got tinned fish and tinned meats in my pantry and i'm going to incorporate them you know that's what we have them for isn't it we we build up that supply to use it when we need it i like to get some quilting finished. I've got three quilts on the go. I want to get them finished and over and done with this month. Uh, we like to make sure that we set ourselves um, some maintenance challenges to get done, some bits and pieces that need fixing in and around the house. And if the weather stays like this, which we can, we can get an early spring here. We can also get a false spring and winter can come back. But we can get a good spring and we can start to get tidying work done in our garden. I also like to get a head start on a bit of spring cleaning and set myself a task a week. I mean, I, don't, I haven't cleaned the windows since autumn. That's an example of something to get done. So there we go. We do like to set ourselves challenges and we also like when we have these nice days, like we're doing now, to get out and enjoy it because it feels like it rained solidly and was really cold for two months solid. So those are the things we're going to get up to in No Spend February. And now we'll share with you our budget for February and what that looks like. <laughs> Let's start with February's budget and the money coming in. So, our income plus pension. We pay social security deductions of 22% on the income, not the pension. The pension is taxed in the UK because it's a UK government pension. Right, so that is 2031. That's Quite a lot down at the moment our budget goes up our budget goes down it's not the same every month it can vary by anything up to 500 euros a month so the money was earned in december and we receive it in three payments on the 15th the 22nd and 31st of january and that's the money that we live on in february so february's budget is 2031 euros <laughs> Okay, we always say, don't we, we pay ourselves first. So we work out our savings. Um, we haven't got a lot of money this month, so we are saving 10%, which is 203. We have our long-term savings for our car. Our car is now eight years old. It was six years old when we bought it. It will, we can only keep it so long before it devalues itself too much. So putting away 200 a month. And then we have our sinking funds of 620 a month. And the 620 is for the clothing, gifts, family trip, water bill, 
wood, the heating, the property tax, the rubbish and recycling costs, the dogs, for the vet, for the grooming, for home repairs, for car maintenance, the business tax and our online storage. So that's what the uh, sinking funds are for and the total of that that we have to put away each month is 1,023. The sinking funds are all a bill, the car's got to be replaced sometimes, long-term savings, you never know what tomorrow will bring. So there we go, paying ourselves first. Okay, let's go through our living costs. Our supermarket budget, we've reduced it down from 400 to 300 this month. Car fuel is 50. Gas bottles, we have two portable heaters in the house. We don't have central heating, so we have portable heaters in parts of our house. And if we need gas to replace both bottles for both heaters, it would be 70 euros. Home insurance is 27 a month. Health insurance is 108 a month. Car insurance is 53 a month. Our insurances are the same whether we paid it all in one amount or monthly. We have two mobile phones, that's 32 euros a month. We have the internet, TV and home phone. We have two internets, we have Orange internet and we have Boeing's internet. Um, sometimes one works, sometimes the other works. They're not very reliable. So that's why we have the two, and that's 48 a month. Our bank charge for four bank accounts is 12 euros. Our pet food bill, it's 65. Our EDF, Electricity de France, um, it's 100 a month. We don't use 100 a month, we're paying 100 a month. It builds up a bit of credit. Le Pousse is a local charity that I'm involved with, 20 a month. Garden fuel, that's for chainsaw fuel for the work in the garden, 30 this month. And this month, uh, I always pay to have my face waxed and my eyebrows waxed and we also need to have a haircut this month as well. And that's 50 this month. So this month's living expenses are 965 euros. Look at the final numbers then. If we take this month's income of 2031 and take away the savings of 203, the car savings of 200, take away the sinking funds of 620, take away the living cost of 965, and take away the small buffer, which is the difference of that, of 43 euros, we're left with nothing. And that's why it's called a zero balance budget. So we know where every euro, cent, penny, pound or dollar is going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who likes, who leaves a comment, to all subscribers. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>